During this time, she got involved with black social institutions. The abolitionist movement also started at this time. William Lloyd Garrison has just established his abolitionist newspaper, The Liberator. Garrison urged black women to contribute writing to his paper, and Maria Stewart quickly responded. She gave Garrison several writings and essays to publish in which he did. The first of these were entitled Religion and the Pure Principle of Morality, the sure foundation on which we must build. She later became the first woman in America to give a public address to mixed audiences. She gave a total of four public lectures in which she spoke about accountability, unity, self-determination, and economics within the Black community. She also advocated for women's rights and called for Blacks to resist oppression. She then moved from Boston to New York, and she continued political activism and teaching. In 1835, Garrison published another one of her works, Production of Mrs. Maria W. Stewart, which was a collection of speeches in essay form. Stewart became extremely influential after the work was published and women all across the country began lecturing openly. By 1852, she had moved to Baltimore, Maryland and began teaching privately. In the following decade, she was appointed head matron at the Freedmen's Hospital and Asylum in Washington, D.C. She also continued to teach while working at the hospital. In 1878, at the age of 75, a federal law was passed granting pension to widows of veterans of the war in 1812. She began receiving $8 a month and used it to republish one of her works, Meditations from the Pens of Mrs. Maria W. Stewart. The book was published in 1879.